Okay. So remind us who you are and who are you. We're the group working towards building the best run big city in America. Our, our proposal is called 911 for 311 because 311 needs to build the kind of public trust that 911 already has. When the average stakeholder is asked to describe their idea of a best run big city, they usually reference quality of life issues, bulky item pickup, graffiti removal, abandoned appliances, illegal dumping. These are the quality of life issues that most stakeholders feel a well-run city should take care of. Our city has three ways that constituents can request those services. The My311 app and web form, emails to 311, and the 311 call center. Though the city of Los Angeles has had the system since 1999, it has failed to deliver in comparison to other big cities. Improving the services of 311 and its response to constituent concerns would help improve quality of life issues that face every Angelino. 311 is under the direction of the Information Technology Agency, which provides technology services to departments of the city of Los Angeles. ITA does not have executive authority and responsibility over other departments and cannot mandate the level at which constituent services can be performed. The four top service requests is a service for not services completed the first time, the second time, and sometimes the third time. Having 311 under the leadership of the mayor's office and collaboration with the neighborhood councils will ensure that its core mission is focused on customer service and constituent relations and where cross-departmental uh, collaboration is realized. One of the problems with 311 and the services that provide is that no one knows about them. Uh, we propose an initiative for neighborhood councils to work with the mayor's office to create an outreach plan to reach the residents to make them aware of the 311 program. Since smartphones are ubiquitous in Los Angeles, the first objective would be to get the My311 app on all smartphones that are located in the city of Los Angeles. Currently, the app has only about less, only about 5,000 downloads, or 50,000 downloads. With over 9 million cell phones in the city of Los Angeles, there is room to increase their availability on smartphones to be able to incorporate the youth and also to make it uh, multilingual. Another avenue for outreach is to make neighborhood councils one of the vehicles for consumer awareness and increased usage of 311. Increasing 311 usage and adoption of the 311 app can be most effectively carried out by neighbors and friends who make up the membership of neighborhood councils. After all, very few average people ever have contact with their city council members, but NC members are their neighbors and friends. One important outreach service that neighborhood councils can provide is to disseminate promotional materials that ITA, which runs 311, develops to promote their program. At the time of the controller's audit of the performance of 311 in 2014, 311's director told the controller that absolutely no budget had been directed towards marketing 311 for at least five years. In addition to the free and extensive outreach that the neighborhood council system can provide, PSAs can be placed for free on many media outlets. The only cost is to develop the content, which is minor compared to the cost of buying the ad time and the space. Bus shelters and bus benches are one example that we've just seen recently in the neighborhood council system using. Another important role NCs can play with regard to 311 customer service is to be integrated into the customer relation management system that ITA is currently developing. This program is ongoing, funding for the second phase has been approved and it's moving forward, and the ETA for completion is 2017. The controller notes that city council district offices play an important role in assessing service needs and requests given their placement in local communities. This is also true of neighborhood councils, and ITA should work to integrate the neighborhood councils into their customer relation management system the way that they are already working with city council offices. Most constituents contact 311 through the call center, which is open 63 hours per week. Two of the biggest concerns are wait times and drop calls. 
Although current data shows that wait time is less than one minute, it takes one minute and 39 seconds to just work through the phone tree to get to an option. The average call cost to the city is $6.30. To help decrease wait times and reduce call costs, the city should look at installing an interactive voice recognition system with contact center continuity. By implementing an IVR system, the city could look at reducing call costs to 10 cents per call. 90% of the top request services are for sanitation, while the rest are for other issues. With an IVR system, constituents can be connected immediately to place their service request by phone recognition. If at any time they need to speak to an operator, they can press zero, allowing them to have either the option of completing their service request or asking for additional help by a live operator. This would allow 24-hour operational coverage, drop calls to less than 2%, and wait times of less than 10, se uh, 10 seconds. An additional benefit would allow current staff to follow up on service requests that are older than two weeks old. Uh, this would allow accountability, plus they could prepare service reports for the mayor's office, affected council offices, and affected neighborhood council areas. What we're really asking is for three things. One is that 311 to be trusted like 911. Second, partnership with the mayor's office, ITA, and the NCs. Third, incorporate an IVR system because with 111,000 calls per month, uh, the city could see a savings of about $688,000 per month with a $1 million upfront cost. Last idea is that neighborhood councils are the appropriate place for an outreach campaign in cooperation with the mayor and ITA and support of the city council. Neighborhood councils should take the lead in educating and increasing 311 usage. Thank you.